New tonight and exclusively on PIX11 News, police officers at the Jersey Shore springing into action to save a man in crisis, pulling him out of frigid waters. Thank you for staying with us. I'm Shirley Chan in for Tamsin. I'm Corey Chambers. The rescue you saw there happened earlier this month in Tom's River, and the whole thing was caught on police body camera. pix 7 Jim Vassal has a story you'll only see here on PIX. <laughs> He's just lucky, you know, we got there quick. It's all about the timing. Timing is everything. It's a rescue you'll only see on PIX11 News. He's still out there? It was around 5 o'clock on April 14th when first responders were called to rescue a suicidal man who swam out into the freezing waters of Tom's River. The Seaside Heights Police Department's Marine Unit was among those who responded, knowing they only had moments to get to him. Which you're going to get stuck by a boat, then you're never going to find him, or... He's going to hypothermia because when we did get him out of the water, he was in full shock. Two Seaside Heights officers on board rode out to the man who's appearing on the left side of your screen. Yo, yeah. brother! Yo, yo! Yo, brother! Yo, brother! Yo, brother! Yo, 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 yo! The man was fully clothed, barely swimming, and was already losing consciousness. We had two things going against him. You had the water that's freezing, around 40 degrees, 42 degrees, and you have all that clothing on, which when it gets absorbed, plus especially the shoes, when they fill up with water, it's like you got, uh, you know, boots on. Ready? One, two, three. The two officers managed to pull the man out of the water. Within seconds, they put a jacket around him, and he was taken to the hospital minutes later, where he was able to get the help he needs. My two police officers did a phenomenal job. In this rescue, Seaside Heights Police put one of its newest tools to the test. The department acquired this new rescue boat last year. It's outfitted with all the latest technology and life-saving equipment, and it happens to be the same model used by the U.S. Coast Guard. You know, there's a lot of things that you need. You don't know what you're going to need at every every time you have to you have a uh, emergency. An example of seamless teamwork coming together to save a life. And police officers are there to help. We're there to help and save lives. That's our first thing. Then we go into law enforcement. And then we go into the other things. But the first thing is is to save uh, save life and property. In Seaside Heights, Jim Vassell, Pix11 News.